Namaste and welcome. It's Arshna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming each and every one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Thank you all for your beautiful energy, your love that comes my way. I'm always inspired to bring forth new content on my channel because of all of you. So with that, I'm bringing forth a special reading for the Starseed Collective as this amazing strong portal 1111 is opening up ushering in new light codes ushering in spiritual energy to help us to remember who we are to remember why we came on earth why we chose this earth mission as star seeds and what our higher life purpose and path is so with that let's open up the space and see what your angels and guides have for you to help you to remember to help you to uh, feel back your way home to who you are let's start with that first message for the star seeds for this 11 11 gateway angels what do they need to know this is from the lemurian deck storm it's okay to feel it all cleansing collapsing of the old and realignment this 11 11 is going to usher in strong energy it may feel stormy it may feel for some of you it's going to be big enlightenment moment for some of you it's a big shake up okay in your life to rem to help you to remember to break down the illusions to break down the barriers to break down what you cannot see to see through clearly okay and for a lot of you what i'm picking up over here to feel it all is this going to be this emotional barrier that you've created okay living on earth you've created and blocked your heart from feeling a lot of the things the star sees you feel a lot of things very deeply and with this gateway ushering in and clearing out these old story and these old timelines you're going to be feeling things at a deep level and your angels and guides are reminding you it's okay it's okay to feel it all you're feeling angry you're feeling repressed you're feeling hurt you're feeling sad you're feeling depressed whatever those feelings are the ones that we have shoved under the rug that we don't want to face because of the pain um, <clears throat> the angels are here to remind you that this is part of the cleansing process they're coming to break down the dams they're coming to break down the barriers these energies are coming in to help you to collapse the old timeline so that you can come into an alignment you can be realigned to the source energy directly getting your guidance from your star systems from your star star origins and connecting to the divine source and remembering who you are at the core gorgeous energies from the angels of atlantis let us see what they have for you for this 11 11 gateway what do the star seeds need to know angels thank you pools of energy okay with the 11 11 you're getting these pools of energy let me read what it says here card number 20 this is already taking me to judgment this is the time for judgment this is the time for reawakening this is the time to remember to remember who you are star seeds to remember why you're here when the final experiment of atlantis was established uh, the senior priesthood created a pool of high frequency energy which the people could access to enhance their own energy to help them manifest their visions later the violet flame was offered to the citizens this could be visualized or invoked enable them to transmute any negativity that arose especially in relationships that's why the storm and this cleansing and i was feeling the emotional dam cosmic help your guidance with this 11 11 is to call on the great cosmic pool of energy for it is time now to manifest your dreams before you invoke the cosmic assistance be still and focus on your vision only negative thoughts can hold you back so call in or visualize the violet flame to dissolve them move forward the cosmos is ready to help you beautiful this is the time to manifest your dreams and your angels are reminding you to call in 
to this cosmic help to draw in the violet flame to help you cleanse to help you clear out any blockages that you have so you can focus on your vision remember the highest vision hold it in your eyes hold it in your mind's eye hold that vision in your heart and it will manifest you've done this before you have done this many many times before star seeds this is not something new you're remembering who you are you're remembering your abilities you're remembering your gifts and talents <clears throat> deep cellular healing this 1111 is going to bring in deep healing arcturian energy some of you are very strongly connected to arcturus okay maybe you're coming from there but the arcturians are here and working with you with this 1111 gateway to help you clear out these negative energies these harsh energies these energies that create negativity right so they're going to help you to transmute them and there's going to be a deep healing that you're going to receive at a deep level on a physical and emotional which is what we started with with the storm energy there's going to be deep healing when you heal the feminine energy you begin to receive whether you're male or female this is the deep emotional feminine energy that is being cleared that's being healed that's being reinstated in your cells in your dna to bring in an anchor in a vibration of harmony to anchor in the vibration of unconditional love and acceptance I saw the ice age and it was reminding me of let me read what it says because it took me to remember an example I literally gave in one of my readings about melting of the ice a 2000 year ice age allowed earth to detoxify rest and purify so that the planet could vibrate at a higher frequency during the ice age the intergalactic council was able to plan the fifth and final experiment of atlantis heralding the golden age the most glorious and the spiritual time there has ever been on this planet preparation time if you chose this card it indicates that a time of rest and relaxation is needed use this space to look within and purify your beliefs and thoughts this is a time to contemplate or meditate on your life purpose and prepare yourself so that the new can come into your life at a higher frequency than the old the seeds of new beginnings are germinating <clears throat> message perhaps for some of you and this is card number 1 and with the 1111 it's ushering in the energy of one which is of new beginnings of independence of anchoring in your unique vibration and code message for the star seeds haha <laughs> Stellar gateway activation, infinite potential and manifestation vortex. This 1111 gateway is supercharging your auric field. It is supercharging your energy field and your chakras, okay? And that's why this deep clearing is taking place. With the stellar gateway activation, that's like your, your 12 chakra activation, activation of your soul purpose, activation of why you're here, activation of the earth chakra, activating all your lives on earth, so all that is encoded, all the wisdom that resides in the earth, all the wisdom that resides in your soul, in your soul, soul blueprint and your ability to travel, intergalactic travel, for astral travel, for other higher psychic gifts, okay, awakening your psychic gifts and remembering your psychic gifts and that is what the stellar gateway activation is going to take place. So many of you star seeds with this influx and inflow of energy, a lot of your psychic abilities are going to take on to the next level and you're being prepared to prepare for these psychic gifts psychic centers are our sixth chakra and the other feminine centers and that's why this healing of the feminine energy and healing of the divine feminine um, principle within you is taking place perhaps you've taken uh, birth in family lines where the feminine energy or the feminine principle has been suppressed and you've been working through healing that family line healing that lineage which has been primarily operating out of the masculine principle okay and that's why the feminine principle has been 
activated within you so that you can clear that cauldron so you can hold that charge you can hold higher vibrational frequencies and with that you're anchoring that in onto the planet earth thank you angels what do the star seeds need to know surrender with this pools of energy whatever waves of energy are going to be coming in with this uh, stellar gateway with this 1111 portal whatever you're experiencing the angels are reminding you to surrender to that surrender to all that you're feeling surrender to all that is taking place any sort of displacement discharge anything that's taking place go with it go with that flow go with it surrender to how the physical body is responding to it how the mental body is responding to it because it is think of it as a readjustment and a realignment that's taking place so your body your mind your soul is readjusting to these new new frequencies it's like you're moving to a new home you need to kind of readjust you're starting a new job you need to readjust your schedules of when you're waking up when you're doing the certain things and uh, you know you now you'll be meeting new people you'll be responsible with different things there'll be certain things you'll need to learn so there's a readjustment phase and that's what this alignment is taking place because of this deep healing you may even feel extremely tired or you may feel like very vulnerable and you may want to be by yourself so uh, self-care is very important star seeds during this time to um, honor the feminine principle okay whatever it is that you need for your self-care maybe you're called to go with a clean diet maybe you're called to drink more water or maybe you're called to go on a certain you know you're feeling like a lack of certain vitamins or something or you're called to go to become a vegetarian whatever you're called to listen to the wisdom of the body which is the wisdom of the divine feminine here and surrender to what you're feeling and give yourself ample time to rest so that your cells can be regenerated okay if you're feeling extra sleepy don't push yourself that's what we mean by surrender <clears throat> solar plexus chakra is taking and solar plexus is really uh we call it the manipur which is the center which means city of jewels okay in sanskrit it's city of jewels with the city of jewels this is our first primary place from where we do astral travel where we have a lot of connection to the other realms and other dimensions there's a lot of clearing and there's also a masculine energy so there's a healing of the masculine energy okay so distorted masculine energy about self-confidence about self-worth this is where we draw our confidence this is where we draw our self-worth and this is also the center for ego so if you've been operating out of the lower vibration of the ego okay if you've been operating out of aggression then that is being healed okay there's a deep cellular healing taking place okay the yellow flower of light supports our senses of self our personal power and our willpower as well as our knowing of who we are and what we contribute to the whole to the whole what our contribution to the whole is so with this number three perhaps you are going through a um <clears throat> Through these number sequences of 333 three, three is also what I'm picking up over here with the three, all right? Um, there's a revival. There's going to be this light, more lighter vibration. You'll be holding more golden aura. So your aura is is more cleansed, more purified, is more high vibration. So wherever you're going to go, you're going to be impacting the physical environment and the people around, even without you saying a single word. There's going to be a transmutation of energy that's taking place through you just through your presence on that particular ley line on earth so if you're drawn to certain places to visit certain places to go on a trip to travel to some place or suddenly you're call you're called to call someone um honor honor your intuitive and your psychic side because that is um, that is what is being activated deeply with this 1111 portal for you star seeds <clears throat> Thank you, angels. Messages for 1111 for the Stasi community. Thank you. <clears throat> 
So the first message we have over here is 7-7. Seven, seven healing separation going within this stellar gateway and that's what that separation from the divine feminine and the masculine you're bringing that into balance you're bringing balance in inside of you so you're healing that separation of the masculine and the feminine so you're being guided to go inward you're being guided to practice more meditation more quiet moments of contemplation more quiet time uh, for yourself it's very good for you for your healing physical body mental body and emotional body and as you go within you're going to be able to merge the two you know how to do it i can't tell you how to do it you're going to know you're gonna you're a master alchemist star seeds it's going to happen automatically it's some things that your soul already knows how to alchemize that how to bring the two parts in balance but you must still yourself and go within and then our next message is 6 6 and it talks about integration multi-dimensional healing we've talked about deep cellular healing so with these pools of energy violet flame activation very important okay tap into that okay bringing in of the white light do white light activations do white light meditations um and um, you're going to be healing different aspects of you, different layers of you that exists in different realms, okay? And that integration is going to, with healing, separation, and integration, there's all fields kind of coming together, okay? Um, that's what it is. This 1111, you're healing different aspects of you, and you're bringing things in balance. Okay. I'm seeing unity here with the number 66. Six. You may be drawing in a divine, divine counterpart to you with this 1111 portal because I'm seeing integration. And for the 1111, we have the energy of 1111 right here. And it says here, compassion, higher heart opening. Okay, With this deep cellular healing and, and again tapping into the purer and a higher version of your solar plexus, your solar light, your solar energy is going to be repowered with a great self-worth and great self-confidence um, you're going to be exuding this golden christ light okay christic light higher vibrational light and you're going to you're going to feel okay with the solar plexus the next chakra is the heart it's activating the higher heart which resides up here okay the heart chakra and then the higher heart here so when you're activating the higher heart there's going to be a great amount of compassion kuan yin energy that i'm beginning to feel from here you're going to feel things right it's okay to feel it all you've been taught not to feel it all but this 11 11 is crashing all of that out and you're going to feel it i'm telling you the dams are breaking down Okay, that's for sure. Okay, these are tsunami of yeah, of emotions, and you'll be able just surrender to that flow. Just allow for this process of integration and healing of a separation to take place, and you're going to. So then you're serving as this call drawn for divine energy to flow through. You're not actively consciously from the ego mind trying to control who you are and what you can say and what you should express compassion is is going to just flow with this pink energy soft pink energy you're flowing whether you're male or female you're going to be drawing in a you'll be drawing in very very um high vibration energy and you're going to flow a lot with your feminine energy male or female a lot of compassion kindness and with that, you'll be taking action. What are the major... I'm already seeing with number 20, I'm seeing the judgment card. Let us see what is the major energy this 1111 is activating within you. Star seeds. <clears throat> Justice. Beautiful. Justice. Card number 11. Okay, 11. And we're doing 11, right? So being fair, being just balancing two aspects learning to balance the left brain the right brain learning to be just and fair okay you coming from a place of justice you coming from a just place and um, you serving as this higher vibration that i'll be truthful and these are i'm coming from a place of integrity because you're anchoring in these codes for humanity Let's go deeper. Messages for star seeds for this 1111 angels.
Eight of Crystals, Eight of Pentacles, Sage of Crystals, all in the physicality. All right. That's the Queen of Pentacles. The Great Wheel, the Indigo. Wow, manifesting. Strength God. Thank you, angels. That's the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Orbs here. Let's start. So the Nine of Orbs I, is taking me back to the pools of energy. The Nine of Orbs is like your Nine of Swords where the mind is, is focusing on the negativity, is focusing on things that have not worked out in relationships, especially in relationships. And um, perhaps the dreams that you had on the timeline that you had hoped with all the uh, effort and energy you put in you weren't able to see the results for that okay and that caused a lot of pain and heartache okay or in relationships where you gave in but you didn't receive it, there was there was an imbalance in reciprocity you were healing a lot of the wounds family wounds you chose certain situations you you chose certain karmic situations and karmic relationships before you incarnated to learn to heal to understand how humanity works and um, things that humanity is going to be going through you chose to experience the lower vibration to understand the lower vibration energy because you knew in your heart that you can manifest. You knew in your heart that you're going to be able to transmute that through uh, the different tools. You knew at certain times you're going to be activated into higher levels. You'll be activated into remembrances. Here's a golden nugget and you remember and you create from that place. Then you were given another golden nugget and you may not remember them as golden nuggets, but you've been given these golden nuggets to continue to move on from them. And right now, with this 11-11, there's a great reminder again that um, invoke the uh, violet flame, invoke this white light, okay, and cleanse your aura, especially towards uh, relationships, okay. This is the time to manifest your dreams because right with that, with this, with this, we have the indigo. Like some of you maybe you may identify as indigo children, okay, or indigo children around you, okay. With this indigo and it's manifesting, this is like a child's energy. A child is excited. The child is has purity of spirit, purity of heart, and uh, they hold, they look at the cosmos, they look at what they are ready to create with purity of spirit and hope and enthusiasm and excitement and that yeah I know I could do it they're not thinking I can't do it that's not the first thought that comes the first thought is that they're excited they're looking forward to something they're going to create so don't let the past hurts the past things that kept you where they are or what you have created or what you have experienced in your creation to hold you back this 1111 is a time to heal that separation, to heal that wound, to heal it at a deep a cellular level. And you're getting help. You're getting help from your star system. You're getting help from the, from the Arcturians. You're getting help from your angels and guides. They're coming in to help you to purify that, to purify those emotions, to cleanse those emotions, to feel that out and release that and heal that separation and come back into that place of balance, to come back into a state of integration integration and you can totally manifest anything that your heart desires right now and you're opening up to your uh, 
spiritual team you're opening up to your spiritual path for i'm also channeling some people who are just about starting and remembering that they are star seeds remembering that yeah i feel aligned with that why i felt off why i felt odd why i don't feel like i belong but yet i know i can do these things i don't know why i know i can do it but why am i born here all these questions all these statements all these not knowings are are going to start to be gentle with yourself for those who are just about starting out star seeds for those of you who are just about starting out your journey that this is a journey of unfoldment you can't just say okay open open the rose you may be used to that in other realms and other dimensions but earth dimension earth plane takes time takes time this is a a dense dimension and we chose to come here i want to keep reminding the word many of you may feel why am i here but the thing is you chose to come here and you chose that out of your own free will to come into earth to experience to experience separation so you knew it would be a fun challenge it would be a fun task it would be a fun uh process to bring in integration of uh this separation sure i can do it of course i can do it i want to jump into separation i want to be able to find my twin flame i want to be able to find and live that path yes 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 bring on that negativity yes 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 bring on that i can totally do it i'm an undercover cop and i'm going to go in there I sense that excitement as a soul when you chose to come in here and your team said sure we're helping you. I made a light out of a, a I created a storyline for you to help you to remember that you chose to be here. you chose to be here you've been hard working hard so the things that you've been working hard on and i'm seeing a clock here the divine timing is now so this is like the final pieces for some of you like the final piece is going to fall in place when you begin to feel it all then your psychic centers are going to get this big boost and all your chakras all your 12 chakras higher higher chakras are getting activated and once they begin to get activated your multi dimensionality you're going to be accessing a little octopus you're accessing this you accessing that you're accessing this and then you're going to create some magical things star seeds that's what i'm seeing over here all right so with the nine of uh, with the nine of swords here that was what i was guided to share you're strong look at that lion strength you got that strength you got the strength so i'm feeling like the eye of the tiger even though this is a lion you know that's what's coming you got the strength of the tiger you got the strength of the lion and you can go you've got that force you've got that charge you've got the energy you got the pulls and boost of energy and 11 11 if you've been feeling blah trust me there's no blah time anymore this is going to be supercharged time it's like let's get the supercharger right like you 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 you're a super generator your super generator of energy is going to get a super boost now okay so that's important for you to know the wheels are turning okay the great wheel of fortune is here bringing in this strength to release this um this energy this heavy energy do you see that as person can't see it and there's light coming that's that light that's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming chill 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 it's coming okay it's coming all right um you have the strength to make your dreams keep building on this with the eight of uh crystals here and moving to the queen of pentacles here which is that these are all learnings and you're learning the importance of connecting to the earth connecting to the earth elements so use the elements to your advantage meaning work with the elements now if the element of water is needing to come into your life to create a clearing then work with it and don't say oh no the water element is ridiculous and i don't want to work with the water element use the elements cuz uh, understanding the flow and the interplay of elements is very important cuz that's the elements are what creates us this human being here Right. So, with the earth element, some of you may be working very strongly with the earth elements or the earth itself in the sense of physicality. Because I'm seeing forests. I'm seeing. Um, I'm. I'm seeing forests here. So, some of you uh, may be environmentalist. Okay. Some of you may be healing the environment through um, whatever it is that you'll be doing. Okay. You have multi multi dimensional gifts and talents that will awaken. Okay. So that's that's another message that's coming in that the wheel is changing and whatever you're working on it is going to solidify because you're healing the separation just surrender to this process okay you're creating this you're creating this 
you may not even realize look at how tapped in this kid is look at all these all these pools of great amount of energy that's coming in okay and the child has bright eyes open eyes looking to to you to create this special this is a special gift you're creating something very unique that you're going to be offering into the world you've got the strength don't worry about it don't worry about this you got this you got this okay you really got this that's a message that's coming in for you star seeds balance is coming in yeah i'm seeing loss i'm seeing you've gone through um conflict you've gone through betrayals and hurt you've gone through indecisions but here's the here comes the sun here comes the sun the sun's coming here sun's lighting up the way over here for you i feel like taking final closing message from what deck was i going to bring it in from let's bring it in from here final closing message what is it that the star seeds are needing to know with this 11 11 gateway angels <clears throat> since we got the earth i want to get my earth deck retreat spirit guardian of winter so in this winter time because i am doing it in november right and uh, it's talking about when it's talking about retreat i'm feeling over here is that anytime you're feeling in this low space for you to access this high vibrational energy to come back into your you're remembering your high vibrational energy as you're invoking this white light you're invoking the violet flame you're cleansing out your aura you're being guided to retreat into your own space okay and and i'm feeling for some of you you're living in the cold area like you know where it snows and all but you're creating a sanctuary over there so the final message over here is that continue to give yourself that space and the cocooning that you need in your own way to bring healing in as you're surrendering through this process it's a double confirmation um for all of you okay so that's one and second second is maybe some of you are considering going on retreats and it's interesting that the word retreat has come in on my star seed reading i just came back from india a few days ago and while i was on my trip there for 6 weeks that's my home country and um what happened there was i was guided to start and i i seeded this dream of mine to do retreats and i don't know why i felt like okay uh, i live in the united states i must take something back up there so it was a call that has been coming for many many years but it was like a whisper and then suddenly it became like a big call that i must do something and i started to activate that just by putting the energy out and i started to see a response coming in suddenly all the people around me whoever i'm talking to randomly they're all talking about retreats and as i'm doing the reading the retreat word is coming again like that it's my intention in 2024 arshan is going to do retreats in india to start with that's my dream so start to seed your ideas with 11 11 star seeds and watch it manifest right in front of your eyes and that's why i'm sharing that with you like that was one of my one of the dreams that i had a long long time ago way before i started doing tarot and what have you but i never really did anything about it but now i i guess the energy is now that's all i can say that i'm perhaps ready now okay and maybe all things were taking place all these things that i had to go through over the years to learn to expand my consciousness to remember who i am i'm ready now for these things to manifest in my life i'm i'm more aligned with it now so start to seed those dreams is what i'm feeling okay and we have healing again okay and i'm again seeing the bear spirit and cold some of you those who are tuning in star seeds are definitely living in cold cold environments okay uh just that's a side message uh a confirmation for you and the number 4 with the bear spirit and healing and we have deep cellular healing uh beautiful star seeds you're going through deep deep healing so that you can manifest the greatest dreams and the greatest desires so trust what is taking place trust your process trust what is unfolding the most beautiful things are unfolding in your life right now so if you watch this uh, reading before 11 11 i have two sessions one i'll be going live on youtube at about 10:45 am on 11 11 pacific time 
and a 30 minute meditation to kind of be in the etheric realm at 11 11 and continue to draw in that inspiration okay and i'll have a paid session that day itself early in the morning at 7 a.m 7 to 8 30 a.m and that's a zoom session 90 minutes of going deep within a heart uh, and accessing different codes and planting uh, our seeds our desires into the universe in the morning about divine union, divine love, divine prosperity, divine life purpose, whatever it is that you're wishing to manifest. So if you're inclined to, you can email me the details of that and the description box of this video. And if this is where our journey ends, I send you many blessings of love and light. I hope I see you at least on one of my sessions. It would be wonderful. Um, and we are going to connect as star seed and create that web and, and bounce off all these amazing positive vibrational energies with us because we are here together you know we chose this <laughs> so sending you love and light this is archna here and i will talk to you soon namaste